Hey folks, so today's video is about the enhancement profit calculator, but the bad things rather than the good things. I just want to point them out so people that are aware of them, because some people might not know this. They might be going, oh, I'm making profit, I'm making profit, and then not. So basically, like, for example, this, you get 415 million if you were to buy everything pre-order 5% cheaper than the normal set price right now, and then sell it at the main price when you get to tech. Now that is how much profit you'd make if you were to do that right now. If you could buy 80 of them off the market, make your tech and get rid of it. Um, like it's sold straight away at the price. And that's the problem right there. Right. So if we go into this right now, so I've sold all my tech. So I've got a nice 26.7 million sat there. Um, but I've got all my other ruins, I've got my Ocean Haze, and I'm just waiting on these three, slowly building them up. Hopefully I'll have them for the stream. We'll see. Uh, looks like it's a bit of a slow week this week, to be honest. Um, but that's the exact issue, right? I don't have them all to buy. Uh, let's say if we go to Tongred Belt, because that's the one that's currently uh, the most money. Or from what I saw, I can't even spell Tongred. Might as well just quit. Um, it's 10 on the market. And they were up at top price, not at min price. So you'd have to pre-order them. Um, so by the time you buy them as well, the, the price. So like I've got all my Eye of the Ruins right now. So if I was to make them right now, I would get um, Eye of the Ruins. 137 billion, million, sorry, if I was to sell them when I make it uh, right now. But... By the time I go around to my stream on Wednesday, I can guarantee it's not going to say 137 million. It's going to have a different price. Now, there's a way to mitigate this. So the way that I've figured that you mitigate this is rather than going buy them and then... I know you can't do this the first time, but after the first time you've done it, right? So rather than going, you buy them and then make a tech and sell it. That's the profit you're making. Look at it the other way around. If I was to sell a tet right now at this price and then buy the resources to make my next tet, um, I would make 137 million profit. So that's what would be left over after I bought back the rest to make the next one. That's the way to do it, to mitigate. It still won't make exactly the amount that's shown there because you won't be able to buy 70 in one go or 80 in one go. I think it's like 74 or something is the correct amount uh, if you get it perfectly on average. Uh, it's There's decimal places and things, so I've done rounding up and everything. But um, I don't like decimal points because you can't buy 0.5 of a, a piece of accessory, so it doesn't make sense. Um, so that's the first downside. The second downside is the amount of little things they have to edit. So, for example, um, right now, my concentrated black sands are 2.1 billion. It's probably changed. Blackstones are currently at 1.2, so that's fine. But you, you've just got to change a few things all the time, and this isn't always an exact science. Um, I do have the increased chance of upgrading from failing X amount of times in a row. So this bit is accurate. So I'm still making less duos, and I'm still making less tries. Um, so every so often I'll have to force a try. And running out of prize isn't a bad thing, because at the end of the day you can just use a duo because you're making more duos so you can actually just use duos to make them go down to prize uh, so like for example every so often i can just change this prime 14 to a one duo uh, just to force it down again simple as that um, and you can even use more duos so that you're getting negative duo and plus pry uh, to the point that uh, you, you, you basically just balance it out like that so that's another negative that you can easily fix um, the, the fiddly bit about like changing things about, unfortunately, there's no way to fix the fiddliness of it. Um, but they're the two big bad points about the um, enhancement calculator. So that's everything. Uh, I'm going to leave you with my tets that I made this week um, on the stream. So I made 10 out of 26. So that's just above average. Um, that's 2.2 uh, accessories more than I should have made. And I'll just double check because I put the math in the calculator. 2.2 more than I should have made because I should have made 
on average. So obviously you can't make 0.8 of one. So let's say I should have made eight. So I made two extras. Uh, so I was at 0.38%. So 38% of them went pretty good. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the accessory clicking. Uh, if you do stick around to watch that. Ciao for now. Gonna not skip animation. Gonna do two cadres at a time. So ideally we fail the two cadres and then we go on to something that we need. Then we succeed on the Eye of Ruins. We're already on five fails for Eye of Ruins, so I guess we won't succeed. <laughs> Please. Okay, we've got one. Just a little bit below average. Or well, technically it's kind of on average because it's like 33%, I believe. 30%. Yeah, so still within the average parameters. Okay to fail twice. I'm okay to fail twice. Okay, I'll take it though. Success is never a bad thing. Okay, I'll take that extra success. Uh, I'll do one cadre, then the two ruins. Oh shit, okay. Um, again, I'll do the last cadre, because now I'm above average on cadres. They always, like, they're nice to get cadres, but they take longer to sell because everyone does them. I'm doing it a lot when failing. I mean, changing server doesn't really... I mean, it, I guess it can refresh your RNG, but I'm, I'll just stick to the same sheet because it'll come back round. Uh, right. Oh, the ruins ring. I need two of these. Oh, one of these. I've already got one. Yes, okay. So we will... Do our last eye of the ruins because we can lose that. That's fine. Uh, I'm on EU, I'm on Balanos 3, I believe. Right, so we'll do one Tongrad belt, which isn't really profitable right now because the market crashed after I bought them. And then we'll do our singular Ocean Hazering because we didn't get enough this week. That's okay. Uh, we'll do Leighton. Belt. Come on, belt. Okay, there we go. Right. Uh, right. So, two more tets. And we're laughing. I'll just swap between the two because it doesn't really matter which ones I get. Well, it would be better to get a Leighton first because then it's more spread out to sell. I mean, I've still got a Leighton to sell, actually. It didn't sell from last stream. Um, don't need to be in there for the 110 stack. I might need one more 110 stack at this rate. Okay, there we go. We've got a rate. Awesome. Um, we'll do these first. Let's not skip the animation. So any of these that I make now are pure profit. Don't get me wrong, it is a good thing to get a tet. But I now need to make another 110 stack again. Because uh, I am completely out of 110 stacks. Okay, there we go. Now, do not make a pen. I said do not make a pen! Right, we've got the 110 stack. Let's do this. Uh, right. So we'll do the last Tungred. So this is pure profit. I say pure profit. You've got the cost of the stack to take off. 
Um, yeah, when I said that was for uh, 3.8 billion minus half a billion. So 3.2 billion for my last uh, tech that I made. I make one more Layton. Please, one Layton. I mean, I'm already above average. Uh, not making it, it's fine. I've got time to... But we'll do this sneaky one here. We should be able to get one more tech, no problem. Or maybe we're going to just use up all of these. Could happen. Okay, there we go. There's an extra tech. So that was 10 tets. That one's pure profit. Uh, so technically minus the base and minus the 110 stack, which is half a billion. 